What's up guys? Welcome back to the Top Anfield channel. Liverpool is poised to take action in securing the services of Goncalo Inacio from Sporting Lisbon during the upcoming January transfer window. In a recent exclusive report by Team Talk, it was disclosed that there is a significant likelihood of the Merseyside club activating the defender's £52 million release clause. Further information from Team Talk indicates a shift in Liverpool's focus, with the pursuit of Andre now deemed unofficially concluded. The primary objective is now centered on acquiring a new central defender, particularly with Joel Matip's contract set to expire at the end of the season. The 22-year-old Inacio, extensively scouted as Matip's potential successor, emerges as a key target for Liverpool. Reports suggest that the Portugal international is considered Klopp's dream signing, a testament to his perceived quality. If Inacio lives up to the acclaim, Liverpool stands to bolster its defensive ranks significantly. However, Newcastle United has also entered the picture, expressing interest in Inacio. Desporto Al Minuto reports that the Magpies are determined not to let go of the talented defender, positioning themselves as formidable competition in this transfer pursuit. While Inacio brings excitement as a promising young defender, questions arise about the strategic decision to prioritize a centre-back replacement over the pursuit of Andre, a defensive midfielder. This shift in focus becomes more intriguing considering that the current centre-back, Matip, is contracted until the summer. One plausible explanation could be that Liverpool rates Inacio exceptionally high, and fears missing out on the opportunity if they delay the signing. In such a scenario, redirecting funds from the Andre deal to secure Inacio becomes a strategic move, signaling the club's optimism for the future with the sporting star. But I still think Andre would be a very important signing. And you, what is your opinion? Do you think Liverpool have more of a need for a defender or a defensive midfield? Leave your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. You will never walk alone.